Welcome to ATP Customs. Well, there it is. It's unwrapped the new motor for the jet boat. And it is way better than we thought. Did not have a clue what we were picking up. We thought we were getting a 460 that was rebuilt. It turns out it is a 472. So uh, the specs were all inside the plastic. It is a 460 that's bored 60 over. Still has the normal stroke. And the thing we do not know is the camshaft. There was no uh, specs on the camshaft, but oh well. Because we got a 472, who cares? <laughs> so that is going in the jet boat. We are uh, just cleaning things up and going over all the parts to see, uh, hopefully we'll have that thing dropped in just after the weekend. And unfortunately the viewer's choice Mustang is on hold because we have so many vehicles here, we can't even get in our shop. Things are just, well, it's actually not things keep showing up. I keep dragging them home, so I'll take the blame for that. But how could you not drag this home? I mean, it's a 472. So, we also have the Caliente is here. Yes, it has a nitrous bottle in it now. So we're just detailing this. I've started on the interior, vacuuming it all day long. And uh, pretty quick, we'll be swapping the seat out. It had a, um, a custom board made because the kids seats would not fit without the kids hitting the roof. <laughs> so they made a board and put new seat belts in just to buckle the kids seats down. So I have to put the other seat bottom in, remove that board, shampoo it all. And uh, we have started just cleaning up the motor a little bit. Wasn't too bad. Just needed a little bit of love. It'll need a little more. Things are starting to look good. So tomorrow it'll get a full detail on the outside. Wipe down, do all the windows. Yeah, this one's definitely about a two day detail. And the Mercedes, we got the rear hub off. And John at NBR, I believe you are correct. John, uh, let me know. He believes that the back end of this is from a T-Bird, probably in the 90s because it did have independent suspension and uh, spindles in it that look like they're from a Mustang. Don't recall if T-Birds had four bolt or five bolt. I've never actually looked at one, but uh, that spindle does resemble a T-Bird. So uh, we got the spindle off and the bearing inside had come apart. So that explains the wobble. So yes, we will find out when I get to the parts store uh, on Thursday, whether I'm right or not about that or whether John's right about that. We are definitely struggling to get parts with uh, all the crap in the world getting parts from us to canada is taking uh at least three to four weeks which is just silly it doesn't even make sense i am waiting on a 1100 mcleod clutch for this thing and uh, they said four weeks out of california well you could drive that in a day so i paid an extra 80 bucks to get that clutch here they say two weeks sooner and I still do not have it in my hands. So that's the uh, fun thing about uh, doing hot rods and ordering parts during a pandemic, I guess. And there you go. We are just packed in here. Yeah, we got the Jimmy, we got the Monster, we got the Caliente, we got the Mercedes, we have the C10, we have the uh, Viewer's Choice Mustang race car and in the back is the Corvette and the paint room is full of tools and engines and stuff. So if anybody in the Vernon area has or knows of another shop that would be a little uh, more suitable for what we're doing, we would be interested. We are definitely ready for a bigger shop. It is just out of control where actually what we need is a showroom. I now have approximately three to four hundred thousand dollars in vehicles available that people would like me to um, start selling for them and they mostly require a detail and then put them in the showroom not the kind of vehicles that we can put outside like the Caliente for example being it's hot rod black and we keep getting rained on and in the baking sun and then rained on and in the baking sun does not work just putting that outside so we are on the hunt someone in Vernon if you come across anything please hit us up on ATP customs limited on Instagram on YouTube or check out our website, atpcustoms.com. We are ready for a bigger space. A house with a shop and property would be ideal. Then we can actually park vehicles outside and film on our property. So 
there you go that's a sneak peek to, for tomorrow which is Canada Day today is Tuesday so that's your Canada Day video on what we are up to we will be in the shop on Canada Day because we never stop here so thank you for watching and I hope you subscribe